Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truth for Russell Brand and other people. Mind over matter is only useful if you have conscious control of your thoughts and feelings, your personal energy field. Now that you have higher perceptions are online, you are very aware of the energy field of persons, animals, and even things. However, you can only be aware of energy fields around you when you are aware of the energy fields within you. When you are aware of your own energy field, you have constant feedback regarding your mental and emotional state of being. At first, you may feel as though you're always depressed or anxious. What is really occurring is that you're not attached to your human vessel, but to your light body, your true light body. Your light body resonates to a much higher frequency than the physical form that you're used to wearing. Therefore, your light body may feel too intense, too fast, erratic, and even unstable. These sensations make you anxious, which over time will make you depressed. Actually, what is erratic and unstable is the level of consciousness. In order to wear your light body, you must realize that you're no longer limited to your physical form. In fact, much of your depression is how your physical form feels when you wear it. Then when you return to the true form of your light body, you may feel anxious because it feels so different. You have not yet adapted to this frequency of form. If you had always driven an older model, slow economy car, and suddenly you were asked to drive a very fast <laughs> race car, you would likely feel unstable, insecure, and nervous. Furthermore, your 3D consciousness is frightened by this change and reminds you by saying your light body is not real. The message also creates anxiety or even depression. What if you're crazy and all this light body stuff is just your imagination? Well, it is your imagination, but your imagination is real. Your imagination is the fifth dimensional thinking that operates your fifth dimensional light body. The race car has a very different engine brain and travels on different fuel consciousness than your old economy car. In other words, the bar is rising as you move into the new normal. The new normal feels much like those new paths. The new normal feels much like those new pants you bought because you noticed you lost weight, but you did not lose that much weight yet but you'll lose that weight mass because you're slowly transmuting into your body of light. The timeline to which we are presently speaking has chosen to have a gentle and gradual ascension. This version of ascension requires great patience, but there is minimal destruction. Of course, the forces of darkness are still trying to instill a fear into the masses, but since they can no longer start wars, they are restricted to finding good wounded people to program to go on a shooting spree. These acts of random violence are the expression of remaining need for violence by those who are so dead inside. Those lost ones must experience and create violence in order to feel alive. However, as your civilization continues to ascend, these greatly wounded humans will be identified and healed before they act upon their own inner anguish. On the much lighter side of affairs, more and more people are getting off of the fence and choosing to take the risk to believe in a brighter future. Rather than remaining lost in the fearful indoctrinations of the past, therefore, as more people move into higher frequencies, the fearful messages, horror shows, and violent entertainment will lose its appeal. This violent output is only enjoyable to those who have not tasted the glory of the higher light. Once these unfortunate ones have had their first exposure to higher frequency energies in their body, they will quickly lose interest in the short-term rush of fearful adrenaline. Adrenaline is meant to give a move away from or prepare for battle message without any experiences of the moving into and preparing for bliss of the endorphins and other psychotropic chemicals that are in your system. Adrenaline at least makes them feel alive. It is only in a low frequency of reality that fear is the proof of existence. 
the flow of higher light and the overlighting of the galactic and celestial forces are slowly entering the consciousness of those who have not yet awakened to their multidimensional self. We know that many of our ascending ones have also been battling fear, and we want to remind you that you're feeling fear-based emotions. You're releasing them. We recommend that you expedite the process of releasing old archive fear by filling your form with unconditional love. Words and intentions have great power, so you, all you need to do is calmly say to yourself, I love you unconditionally. It's that simple. Try to remember this statement frequently. In fact, try to put it aside a day and decide that while you're awake, you will remember to say I love you unconditionally once on the hour, every hour. We know that sounds like a lot, but think about how many times a day you chastise yourself. At least one an hour, we guess. If you can catch yourself, every time you say something negative to or about yourself and replace it with a thought, I love you unconditionally. It would greatly expedite your return to self. Actually, you have ascended. The fifth dimension resonates all around you, but your perceptions are still calibrated to the third dimension. Hence, you travel in darkness when it is actually high noon. Your main enemy now is not the forces of darkness, but your addiction to the habit of third dimensional thinking. Once you're feeling free of your third dimensional habits, thoughts, and emotions, you will easily find the time to connect and remain connected to finer and lighter realms of your true light body self. Soon you will no longer need to escape to the higher worlds and you will remember and consciously experience that you are always in the higher dimensions as well as your daily life. Even though you may not have had enough time to realize it, you're no longer limited to one reality. Your physical form is only the lowest frequency of your true multidimensional self. Again, your physical form is only the lowest frequency of your true multidimensional self. So that means there's a lot more to you. <laughs> You will accelerate the recovery of your multidimensional memory by reminding yourself that your higher being that guides and protects you is you. You are the silent inner call and comfort that emanates from within and above. You are the light you seek and the peace for which you long. You are the higher self that controls your earth vessel. Release your ego's need to control and embrace the flow of yourself. You can release your ego needs by loving yourself unconditionally. You know your ego is like a little child. It can be patient if it is happy and has something fun to do. Therefore, find time to have fun and to be creative. Break that third dimensional mold of working hard to be a good person. Working hard never made you a good person. It only made you tired. Then, when you were tired, you were often short with your loved ones and impatient with yourself. Your body's like a family pet. It needs to be loved, fed, <laughs> exercised, and groomed. It cannot do those things for itself. You must take care of your ego. You have lived with the misconception that your ego will take care of you and believed that a strong ego would assist you to be successful in your difficult world. However, your ego resonates to a very low survival-based state of consciousness. You do not want to just survive anymore. You have had the taste of freedom, happiness, and even bliss. And on that bright note, <laughs> it's an extra long one. Pleasant dreams, nighty-night, love you. There's more. <laughs>